have to stand the test of time like a leader You've got to fall it, I will always linger You went away to feel the wind get a better The work that I was on the verge of It's from 190. This is an emergency broadcast. I basically want to let you guys know I'm fu- I'm 95% sure I'm nearly finished. Have a listen. Wow, I just love my arcade room right now, guys. I'm so happy with the outcome. Like I said, it's just fantastic. I'm beside myself, guys. I can't believe it. I'm so happy to be nearly finished. So join me next week, and we will do the back glass and videos on that too. So please subscribe and hit the like button. Here's some more footage. So as you can see here, as I zoom out a little bit, you will see that the LEDs are switched to red mode. And they're just wrapped around the coin door. I was very happy with the way that turned out. Also, if you, um, if you guys want a tutorial... Um, hang on. Hey guys, if you want a DMD removal in your playing field, if you have... See at the top left corner, you see that DMD? Uh, it's a bit annoying if you want to take it off your screen in future pinball. It's actually quite easy. And if you're having trouble with arcade mode and you want the screen stretched out because you're just getting a black screen, there's a tutorial for you coming up. You're gonna have to watch this. And I'll sh so I'll go upstairs and I'll show you guys the program I'm using real quick, and, and then I'll show you how to remove the DMDs. All right. So here we are at the upstairs room. We're now looking in the tables in Future Pinball tables folder. As you can see, there are just four hundreds. There's a hundreds of tables. I literally have to go through every single table and change every single settings in exactly this way. So the first thing I do, I open it up, I go down, I swipe that up, so that was glossiness. I go to translate, I move up here, I second click and unlock every single DMD and I just swipe them up here real quick out of the virtual selected screen. As you can see that screen's quite big, if that's happening to you, you're gonna have to change display text to 100 instead of 300. That In this screen you press scroll and then you press page up or down. Whilst you've done that, changing the modes, you're able to scale the screen by using the arrow keys on the number pads. As you can see, I'm using up and down, left and right, to sort of spread, spread out, stretch, spread, spread out the screen. And I've had to do this for every single table, you guys. So it's a big of a job. And now I'm stretching it out. 
a little bit more. So if I page, if I press page up, I can change the mode uh, to move it directly or to stretch it. So that's the two different modes. So the DMDs are easy to take off as you saw in the previous footage. I basically right clicked on the DMDs that are on the on the field. Uh, as you can see, I'm in translate mode down there next to table. I clicked on translate, basically taking off the DMD and then simply saving it. So now we're having a look at the tables at night time and as you can see it is dark out there and the LEDs are quite bright. It's I almost had a seizure. But anyway, uh, so you can see these LEDs, I have two lots. Uh, the ones underneath might look a little bit cheap so I'm going to take them out by tomorrow. Let's have a look at some other tables real fast. I love Pink Floyd. Hey guys, check out how fast this computer is. It's a 7i, so it's, it's, it's a next generation 4 quad something or other, it's pretty quick. And it works super well with this, com uh, with this table, with all the tables. You definitely need a, a pretty powerful computer if you don't want any lag. And uh, naughty I shall not want any lag. Uh, this table is one of my favourite tables. Loads up super fast, as you can see. Okay, it looks great. Alright, let's see how fast it is to go into a new table. So we just exit this one by pressing exit. And bang, we're back at the screen. So now we can select a different table that simply, Eas easily. So many tables, guys. I'll do another video soon to show you guys my favorite tables uh, when the pinball's finished, as it's nearly finished at 95%. Yeah, here we can go back to systems, or we can look at all of the tables at once. I prefer to keep them separate sometimes so we can see better. Let's go in the getaway and we'll go back to the table and I'll show footage of this game in the table in the daytime and I've lowered the screen a little bit so it sinks more into the table. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for uh, the encouragement and the support. Everybody, all the likes and the subscribes helps and Barney thanks so much for supporting me and the channel for as long as you have. I really appreciate it. It's people like you that allows me to do things like this. Look at the graphics. Very excited for this. I love this uh, project. I had a lot of projects for this. So you can see it's a flat screen on the side right now, but I'm about to pull the camera back and show you what it looks like in the table. And it's now in the table. Okay, guys, thanks again. Enjoy the rest of the footage. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Subscribe.